Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and in this video I hope to take you through a brand new software application that is designed to capture the telemetry information from Gran Turismo and to expose that in graphical and text format. This will enable you to compare several of your own laps against each other and also on what I think is really powerful your lap against a friend's lap or a faster racer's lap or even against one of the best racers in the world. Grabbing the telemetry from your lap or your complete race is super easy and this video will be both a review of the software and also a mini tutorial about uh, how to help you to get going with the software itself. I plan to look at the installation process, setting up the software to communicate with your PS5, capturing the lap data itself, and how to analyze that and more. This will be a review, so you will also hear my niggles as well as my delights. I should point out though that this is early beta software. I am talking to the developers of the software and new features are being worked on following my input. Many of the things mentioned in this video will either be in that process of being worked on or on the list for future consideration. I should also point out that I do not have any business relationship with the software authors, nor any family connection. The software has been provided to me free of charge and for me to run this independent review and to produce this video. These are therefore my honest thoughts on the software and I have not been paid to produce this video or influenced in any way. However, I have been provided with a commission-based affiliate link which I will include at the end of this video and in the description. So let's get into the video and see what this exciting telemetry system is all about and how it just might help you to lower your lap times. Let's go. So the first thing we need to do is download the software from Telemetry Racing's website. So I've just launched their website here. If you click on the download button here, then that will drop you to the bottom of this page where you are presented with a number of download options. If you're going to run this on a Windows machine like I am, then you need the Windows MSI file. Alternatively, if you're running on a Mac, you've got the option for the Apple Silicon or the Intel option. If you're running on a Linux, you've got the Deb X64 option. And then if you want to run this on your mobile, there is also support for Android and iOS. and You can download those options from the website. Um, I believe that the author will be making it available from the appropriate stores in good time. Clicking on the Windows MSI file, that's the um, file will download. I have a fairly quick internet connection here, so that's coming down quite quickly. And then when that has finished, we'll come up with a little warning. And that warning basically says telemetryracing.msi isn't commonly downloaded. Make sure that you trust Telemetry Racing MSI before you open it. Now, I've been dealing with Telemetry MSI for or Telemetry Racing for a while while we've been talking about this, so I do trust it. So I'm just going to go to keep and um, keep anyway. And then I can just locate the file. And what I'm going to do is just move that across onto my desktop so that it's in the portion of the screen that I'm using to record. I'm just recording a, a part of my screen at the moment. Then all we need to do is to double click on the MSI file and then that will begin the installation wizard. So you get a welcome window in which we click next. Then the location of where you wish to install the program. You can change the location if you wish to, but I'm going to leave it as the default. So I'm just going to go next and then ready to install, click install and away we go. I'm just gonna leave the installer to run in real time so you can see just how quick it is. At this point, it looks like not a lot is happening. Um, things are happening and you then get a user account control message that comes up which basically says, are you happy? I'm gonna go yes. Once you accept that, then the installation does go through quite quickly, but it can be a little bit disconcerting that you've got that initial pause. 
So if you do get that, don't worry about it. You'll get the UAT message come up, accept that, and then away you go. We can then click finish. And then we have got the system installed on our system. If I just bring the icon across into the recorded part of the window, then you can see that we get the telemetry racing logo and I can now launch that software. We can then launch the software for the first time. And we're presented with this window with the icon and we've got a small menu and a login button. If you go to the menu, you've got your main screen, settings, toggle transparency and log out. If you go to the settings, that will give you the IP address that you will need to find, the RPM direction left to right and the speed unit. You can't actually save it at the moment because we do need to log in. And that's one of the main things you will need to do is to click the login button. You can log in with Discord or log in with an email and password. I'm going to log in with Discord. That will then launch the Discord website. And I am just going to come down to the bottom here. I'm going to authorize. Now, just bear in mind whether you do want to authorize through Discord or whether you want to do it through a um, password. Obviously, that will be your choice. Um, I've just chosen Discord to make it easy. That then gives you your lap analysis dashboard and your streaming dashboard. If I go to the dashboard, then you're going to notice up here that the little Wi-Fi icon is red. And that is because we've not yet configured the software to look at our PS5. So to find your IP address, you go to your PS5 and you click on the settings icon. From the settings window, you go to network. And then from network, you're looking for the view connection status option. Open that up and then you're looking for IPv4 address. And that will give you your IP address of your PlayStation 5 and the number that you'll need for the software. So now that we've got our IP address, we can go back into the settings and we can change the IP address to be our IP address. We can also set the RPM direction to be left to right, right to left, inside out or outside in. I'm going to leave mine as left to right. And you can also change your speed unit to be kilometers per hour, miles per hour or meters per second. Again, I'm just going to leave mine to miles. And if you wish to, you can have the ability to change your password in here. Once you're done, you can press save. And then that will launch the dashboard. But annoyingly, it doesn't actually seem to refresh the Wi-Fi connection. It's still red here to indicate that we don't have a link to our PlayStation. I found that what I had to do was to close out of the software and go back into the software. And then it will have sorted that out for me. And now you can see that I've got some data coming through. Now, this is rubbish data. Um, when you're... When you've connected to your PlayStation, very often the PlayStation will be showing some replays and things on the screen. I've just turned them off now. So I think we've probably reached a natural break point in this little video. This is going to be the first of two videos looking at this telemetry racing software. In this first video, we looked at downloading the software, installing it, connecting it up to our PS5 and then just making sure that we've got the data coming through and the different settings. In part two, I'm going to go on to look at analysing a single lap, two of our own laps, and also how to analyse our lap against one of the fastest BMW racers in the world this week. So watch for that video coming very soon. For now, take care. Bye-bye.